been on the road a lot the last few months, man. I slept like three hours in the past six days. I don't know if any of you are real. I'm gonna be honest with you. You can all be a figment of my imagination. And in reality, I'm somewhere passed out in a pile of trash outside my Kia Soul on the border of Iowa and Nebraska. I don't know what the fuck's going on. What's happening? It's weird. When you're gone from home a lot, you get back and you all of a sudden got to deal with all this stuff that's happening at home. Like, I got back home the other day and my dad told me he loved me. So he's probably dying, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. This is a text message, so it can't be that bad, right? I just texted back, Gay! It's gay, Dad. It's gay. It's, uh, I'm almost 40, and I got roommates. Not supposed to at that age. <laughs> you're all this worried, you got roommates, you fucked up. And now you're surrounded by a whole bunch of other people who also fucked up. <laughs> Best part, plenty of pills to go around. <laughs> you short on Xanax that week, your pal Rodney has got you. He's usually too sleepy to take him anyway. Let's face the facts. Downside, every day of your life now becomes a Seinfeld episode. I had four roommates, one of them moved out, and all that means is I'm now 25% closer to figuring out who's been eating out of the garbage. So, <laughs> every day is a Seinfeld episode. One of them's gonna die soon, I know it. Very excited, very excited. I, uh, after 20 years of smoking, I finally quit smoking. Right? Two decades of smoking series, I quit. Uh, also, I quit drinking. Yep, that's normal. That happens every single time. You know what I mean? No one claps for that. No one ever applauds. It's usually one person, but they don't mean it. I know it. They're just being nice. Last time I was on stage and I said I quit drinking, nobody said anything. A woman in back got up, flipped me off, and I left. It was so quiet I could hear her mutter, fucking quitter. A lot of people ask you questions when you quit drinking. They want to know why, like there's something wrong with you, right? First thing they ask, they're like, what'd you do? What'd you do? Did you hit somebody? Did you hit with your car? Did you hit somebody? What'd you do? That's a lot of questions. The second question they ask you, they're like, oh, what do you, what do, you do now? Like, you go out, you go out to a party, what do you do? Easy, you ruin that party. <laughs> Bring these people down to your level, okay? That's what you do. Third thing they ask you, third thing, they're like, how'd you do it? How'd you quit training? Brian, how'd you quit training? You were really an alcoholic. You really had a drinking problem. How'd you do it? Easy. I just started smoking weed again. <laughs> Simple solution. But you can't, here's the problem. You're almost 40 years old. You can't just pick up smoking weed. It's not golf. You just pick, the problem is you get too fucked up. You ever been so high you try to change the channel on the fish tank? <laughs> Anyone? You ever been so fucked up that you gotta use a smoke alarm to tell you when food is done? <laughs> you ever been so high you gotta work your eyeballs in shifts? <laughs> like one at a time? And every now and then, every now and then, righty's got to wake up, lefty. Lefty! Lefty, come on, man, it's your shit, buddy, you gotta get up! And lefty's high as fuck, he's just like, what? What? Oh, come on, righty. Come on, just five more minutes, man. Right, he's like, Lefty, we're driving right now! Okay? We both of you! I got, a, I got a great story 
about being old and being too high. I was, uh, I was making a rap video. I don't believe it either, trust me. That's it. No, I like, I produced videos and I was, I was, I film things, like I hold a camera. Uh, I know you think like, this dude's probably a fantastic great rapper. I, I bet he's gonna, he's gonna, but no, I hold a camera. So we're making this video, right? And it's a fantastic video. It's this local rapper, he's awesome, and everything's going great, and we're, we're at a location, and it's, it's looking beautiful, and we're about to go to the next location, and uh, the rapper's like, hey man, you wanna hop in my car? I'm like, yeah, cool, thanks. And I get in the car, and he rolls a blunt, and he's like, hey, you smoke weed? And I'm like, I just started smoking weed again. How convenient is this? It's probably a good idea to, for me to just start smoking rapper weed right off the get-go, right? I take a puff and not five minutes later, I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I, I, tell, I tell the guy, I'm like, hey man, can you pull over? Now, I don't know if he didn't hear me, and I don't even know if I really said it at that point. But nothing happened, so I repeat it. Like, hey man, can you pull over? <laughs> nothing. Hey man, pull over the fucking car! <laughs> oh shit, are you okay? Is everything, everything all right? And as I'm getting out, my other cameraman, he's like, oh no, I know what he's doing. He's getting out of the car, and he's gonna get some footage of us driving by. <laughs> and I'm like, as I'm crawling out, I'm like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> In order to get this shot, I gotta get my face on the cool, comforting concrete. I saw Kubrick do this once. I'm gonna get a Pulitzer. Not from around here, it's hard to relate to you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I pose questions to the audience to like be more relatable and I want to get like feedback. So uh, anybody, uh, anybody ever been to the bathroom before? Oh yeah. Oh, 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 okay. All right, cool. I wasn't gonna do it because I didn't know, but I'll do it. Uh, I was in the bathroom a few years ago, and uh, I noticed something weird about the bathroom. Old people take a really long time to pee at the urinal. I don't know if you know, I walked into the bathroom one time, and this old guy walks in behind me, and he's peeing, and between us is that wall. You know, the wall that exists, because if it didn't, we would just stare at each other's dicks the whole time. <laughs> and he's just, he's taking forever, and I'm like, well, that's a funny premise for a joke. Let's get on stage in front of a bunch of strangers. <laughs> and punch down on old people <laughs> and their urinary tract malfunctions. But I did, and in a real douchey Seinfeld manner, I was like, what's the deal with old people and their urinary tract malfunctions? And before I could finish that joke, an old man at the bar pipes up, he says, we're trying not to shit our pants. <laughs> Maybe you should use the stall, sir. Thanks a lot, I remember that.